so I've officially received the OTA update to my Nexus 5 for the Android 5.0 Lollipop. So here we take a look at all the new features, the changes, the newly installed apps, whatever is new and let's see if this is really worth the update that you will be doing. So starting from the boot animation, you can see everything is new. So you have all these new little circular things, but this was already seen in my Android One device. So you can check that review. So here we have the Android logo and now we are greeted to the lock screen. So everything is changed in the lock screen. And at the first glance, you can see a very big clock so the clock has now increased in size so when you swipe up it becomes small and while you just pull it down it becomes a little big so this is just a small feature and as always you have your status bar i mean your drop down notifications everything from the lock screen as usual which i'll come into a bit soon and here when you swipe from the left you can go into the phone dialer and if you swipe from the right you can go into the camera app directly and swipe up you come to the home screen and when greeted to the home screen you can see three shapes the back home and the multitasking which are in a triangle a circular and a square shape and if you take a look at the UI it's a completely different UI from the Android 4.4.4 KitKat so everything here is now a really new experience so I'll be talking about the UI of the Android 5.0 right now so taking a look at the UI now everything is new so let's take a look at the apps which have changed so here we have the phone app go into the dialog you can see animations and the detailings given to all these while clicking as you can see is really an eye-catching stunt by google and now we have these updated contact app which really looks appealing to the eye then you have the clock app which is really nice to look and last you have the calculator app which while turned in the landscape mode you get all your extra features like your sign cost stand which i am allergic to and next let's take a quick look at all the new apps which come installed with android 5.0 and those are your google fit app and then google docs and then you have your slides and sheet app and then taking a look at the best feature I like and that is your color matching status bar according to the app. So as you can see in the music app now the status bar is color matched to the app so now it's in orange. And if you head over to the messenger app you can see the blue status bar. But this doesn't work with all the apps for example the hangouts. So I hope Google fix is this in the future update. Hope so and then you have the animation so animations is the main part of this material design even though google claims to have a really flat design in the android 5.0 update the animations are the best part and the most interesting part that you will enjoy after installing it and then if you see the animation so starting from the going to the app draw you're scrolling down of the multitasking all those keys and everything and clicking each key gives a particular animation so and as you can see the pull down notification bar is really good and for an example you can see the beautifully animated pull down notification screw which just actually rotates which is actually live and then as you can see here from the google now animation which is also given more detail as you can see going up and coming down transitions are really smooth and in the next features I'll be telling you is that while pulling down the notification bar like this 
you can see all those quick toggles like your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your airplane mode and everything. So if you want to enter your, I mean, into your Wi-Fi connection, all you need to do is just click it. But if you want to directly go into the app, all you need to do is click that icon below the line of your Wi-Fi. So it straight away takes you into the app. So if you have to do any settings changes, you can do it easily. And next is the sound. So while you reduce the sound, you have these all new options like none, priority and all. So in the all, you have your volume, just simple controls. And in priority, you can stop uh, most of the interruptions and you can also keep it based on the time or have it indefinitely until you change it. And in none, you have a feature where you won't get any interruptions including the alarm so that's also a really good feature and the best feature i like about the new update is the battery saver mode so the battery saver mode actually cuts down all the background running apps and the animations are completely cut off and you will experience little lagginess because that's a part of the battery saver mode which is actually useful in helping save the battery life and the next best feature that i again like is screen pinning so in this app all you need to do is just turn on your screen pinning option and after turning on just select whichever app that you are going to screen pin and with that clicking on that icon your app which you want to be pinned will be pinned so in this way you can let others use the apps that they want to use so uh, you can have a guest account and allow your friends to go into that and use all those google features but using the guest account is a really laggy experience which many guests will find irritating and eventually may result in breakage of your phone so be careful while using that and a neat trick by google here is say you can say it's a copy from Apple maybe but anyway that is invert colors so here it's a neat trick where you can invert colors and everything is inverted I don't know why Google has uh, kept this but it's still a good choice and all those quick accessibility like a flashlight saves me from downloading third-party apps and now you can access the ok google feature from any app respective just tell ok google and there comes your google search and next you have all those new animations and features and whatnot stuff but what about the performance if you have seen marcus brownlee's nexus 6 review he would have told that it's a little laggy for a nexus but what about this here it is actually really smooth since it doesn't have to push lots and lots of pixels like the 2k display of the nexus 6 the nexus 5 with its 1080p panel performs really well so till now i've never come about any performance issues so everything is smooth fine everything multitasking switching between apps gaming everything is really good and as google mentioned the ram usage has reduced but not drastically there's been a reduce but it's actually better than the previous version but i should not forget about the easter egg so this is one neat trick that google has in all its versions of android and here we have the lollipop long press and you get flappy android so this is nothing known as flappy android but this is one irritating game in which I can't even pass the one mark. So that this is a really frustrating game, but still in addition to the uh, Android 5.0 experience, it's good. But let's see the pros. So in the pros, you have really good design, an appealing look, snappier performance, battery life, and easy accessibilities. And on the con side, you have only one thing, and that is not all apps are now optimized for your Android 5.0 on your Nexus 5. So few apps are laggy and 
like very laggy but in future it may be fixed and what is my verdict and that is this is the best update from google ever irrespective of all your optimization of apps this is still the best update ever by google and as google mentioned it is surely the sweetest release from android yet so this is someone signing off Oh, 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 oh,